Hello, everybody. Uh, how are you? I hope you're all doing okay. I um, uh, hope you had a nice weekend. Uh, today is a holiday, but yeah, no, I guess the days are all strange these days. Um, but today is Easter. So uh, happy Easter, everybody. Um, now in the UK, normally we celebrate Easter by eating lots of chocolate eggs. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't able to do that this year for obvious reasons. Uh, I think you guys normally celebrate in Spain. I think you also eat chocolate, um, but uh, you also eat a cake called La Mona. Uh, so I hope you are able to uh, celebrate Easter a little bit like we normally do. Um, but yeah, so happy Easter, everybody. Uh, let's continue on with English. Okay, so today we're going to be doing... Um, We will be doing uh, page uh, 73, okay? So this is uh, stuff connected with uh, school, okay? So a bit of vocabulary. So things connected with the studying and with school, but also looking at um, more verb phrases, more collocations, okay? And just practicing our fluency of the language. So, what we will do first is we can go to page 73 in the pupils book and we are going to have a look at some of this vocabulary okay now these are all words to do with school and studying we have to put them into three categories things in the classroom school subjects and things you study and verbs for things people do at school right things like study all right so let's have a look at this look could do this all together Okay, so starting with, let's go through them one by one. Biology, that would be something you study, yes? A bookshelf, that's something we have in the classroom to put the books on. A desk is also something we have in the classroom or a table. A dictionary, uh, well, now we have the, now we have the internet, but we should still have normal dictionaries in the classroom. An eraser or a rubber. Okay. Um, that's also something you have in the classroom. Geography. So this is studying different countries. So that's, some, that's a school subject. As well as history. Learn. Now learn is a verb. Learn is a verb for something we do at school. So learn. Um, maths, mm, that's something we study, as well as music, um, physics as well, okay, part of science, physics, biology, um, practice is a verb, that's something we do at school, we practice, we remember, or at least we try to remember. We study, and some of us teach. Okay, so make sure you have all the words in the correct column. All right, very good. Um, and then what you can do as well is you can think of maybe one more thing for each column. So one more thing in the classroom, one more school subject and one more verb for something you do at school okay and you can write those in the book just underneath right where there's space here okay so think of one more word for each category okay something in the classroom that we didn't look at i don't know maybe chairs um a computer school subject could be something like english for example and a verb for something you do at school, where we have study and learn, where you can say read, write, okay, or play. All right, so one more word for each column, okay? Very good. Um, let's just double check, just to make sure we've got everything correct. 
Okay, so I'm going to show all answers. There you go. All right, so make sure you have this correct. Very good. Now, let's go to our next exercise. Read the sentences. Which subject from exercise one is each one talking about? So the subjects we had were maths, music, physics, geography, history, and biology. Okay. So we have to think, which subject is it talking about? And again, we can do this all together. All right, so, okay, so here are our six subjects. All right, so let's think which one is each sentence talking about. Let's read sentence number one. Today, we are going to learn about the kings and queens of France. So is that biology, geography, history, maths, music, or physics? And you get it? That is history. Well done. Let's look at number two. The longest river in Europe, excuse me, the longest river in Europe is the Volga. I have no idea about this river. But if we're studying rivers, what subject is this? What subject do we study rivers? Did you get it? The answer is geography. Okay. How about this one? Number three. All animals include need water to live. All right. If we're studying animals, what subject is it? That's right. It's biology. Number four. What is 12 times six? Do you know the answer? Uh, what subject is it? Obviously, it's maths. And the answer is 72, if you didn't get that. Okay, number five. In today's lesson, we're going to look at how aeroplanes fly. Now, if you're studying about how things work, okay, how the world works, this is physics. Okay, physics, good. And the last one, hmm, what could it be? It says, let's sing that again. Right, so if we're singing, we must be studying music. Very good. Okay, did you get all of the correct answers? Of course you did. Well done. Very good. Now let's continue. Okay, so now we've looked at this before, okay, but we're going to continue because it's something that's very important in English, all right? And that's looking at sort of how we, what words we use to form phrases, okay? And more specifically, what uh, prepositions we can use with certain verbs and which sort of uh, verbs and nouns usually go together, right, to make collocations. Okay, now we have done this before, but it's something that we continually do in English, okay, because it's... Uh, it's part of refining the language so that we speak absolutely correctly without any mistakes. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll look at exercise three, but we're also going to copy down um, some of these uh, phrases in the book. Okay, just to just to have a note of them, um, and we can also do these collocations as well. Okay, so um, let's start with exercise three. Okay. So um, you're going to read each sentence, you're going to listen, and you're going to choose which preposition um, goes in each space, okay? Which preposition goes in each space? Let's have a look. Okay. So um, let's read each sentence, okay? You can learn a lot in books. Which one? Choose which one you think sounds the best. Yeah, which one sounds the best? Which one sounds correct? Number two, you need to use technology when you study or are uh, mm, work. Okay, so which word? Number three, today we're going to learn mm, how the stomach works. Okay, choose the word. Choose which word you think sounds correct. Very good. Number four. Do you need any help in your homework? Okay, choose the correct word. Number five, 
I usually arrive m school just before nine. Okay, which word do we use here? And the last one, you can borrow these books, m the library, at one time. You can borrow three books, m the library, at one time. Okay, which one? Okay, so did you answer all of them? Let's listen and check if we got it correct. Unit 7, Word Patterns, page 73. Exercise 3, Words plus Prepositions. 1. You can learn a lot from books. 2. You need to use technology when you study or are at work. 3. Today we're going to learn about how the stomach works. 4. Do you need any help with your homework? 5. I usually arrive at school just before 9am. 6. You can borrow three books from the library at one time. OK, very good. So, did you get all of the correct answers? Of course you did. Good job. Okay, now what we're going to do now is we're going to make a note of some of these uh, phrases in the notebook, okay? So let's open our notebook, all right? And we're going to do, uh, the title will be verb, it should be verbs and prepositions, okay? And then the title, to, uh, the date today is Monday the 13th of April, and the year is 2020. Um, so yeah. Week five of quarantine, I think. Anyway, so uh, what I've done here is I've made a note of the expressions, okay? Now, the verb and the preposition I've highlighted in red, okay? Because that's the important things. And then everything else is just sort of uh, information to complete the sentence, all right? Which can change. But the important part are the bits that are highlighted in red, okay? like learn from, right? You learn from books, learn from something at work, right? Uh, learn about something. You learn about how the stomach works. You help with something or you need help with something. You arrive at school, right? Arrive at and then borrow something from somewhere, right? Borrow books from the library, okay? Or for example, borrow money from your parents, <laughs> Okay, so uh, have a look, all right, and copy down all of the uh, all of these phrases, okay, and make sure you highlight the correct words, all right. And you can pause the video while you do this. Okay, have you finished? Excellent. Let's go back to our pupils book. Okay, so now we've got some uh, continuing on the same kind of topic, all right. So. These were sort of like phrases with prepositions. Here are some collocations, okay? So these are um, verbs and sort of the the, uh, the nouns that we use them with, right? And common sort of common phrases to make a common phrase, okay? And to do with studying as well, all right? So what we'll do, again, similar, we'll try and uh, guess the correct answer. We'll try and get the correct answer on our own. We'll listen, check, and then we'll write them down in our notebook, okay? Let's have a look. All right, so, all right, so let's have a look. So the first one is do homework, right? You do homework, okay? So let's go down. So we have draw. What do you draw? Draw a course, draw to university, draw school, draw a foreign language or draw a picture. Okay, I think you know the answer. Take. Okay, take a course, take to university, take school, take a foreign language, take a picture. Remember, it's all to do with things that we do at school. Okay, all to do with school, right? Uh, leave, right? So when you go away from somewhere, leave a course, leave to university, leave school, leave a foreign language or leave a picture, okay? Go, all right, choose which one and then learn. Okay, so for each verb, choose, think which uh, which noun do we use it with, right? Which word do we use it with? 
okay? Like do homework. Okay, have you finished? Remember, if it sounds correct, it's probably correct. All right, let's listen and check. Unit 7, Collocations, page 73. Exercise 4, Collocations with Verbs. 1. D. Do homework. 2. F. Draw a picture. 3. A. Take a course. 4. C. Leave school. 5. B. Go to university. 6. E. Learn a foreign language. Very good. Okay. Did you get the correct answers? Of course you did, just like always. All right. Make sure you have it all correct in your book. Okay, good. So these are common phrases, okay? Common expressions that we would use to talk about school and things. Um, let's make a note, let's write them down in our notebook, okay? So that way we don't forget. All right, so go back to your notebook. All right, and then uh, here, we'll just make another little title. We'll say collocations. Okay, and we'll put this in bold and underline. Okay, collocations. All right, and then we'll just write down uh, each each phrase that we just looked at. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, so we have do homework. Do homework. Okay, let's get that so it's not. It's just normal, okay. Do homework was one. Uh, draw a picture. Okay. Uh, take a course. Take a course. Now, taking a course means to do a class in something, right? So you can take a course in cooking. Take a course in uh, English, right? It's all courses. You are on an English course right now. You are taking an English course with English learners. So take a course, leave school. Okay. Now when we say leave school, it doesn't mean when you go home at the end of the day, it means when you finish school forever, right? You leave school. Some people leave school when they're 16 years old. Other people leave school when they're 18 years old. Some people leave school when they're 25 years old. Some people never leave school, like me. Um, go to university, okay? Go to university, okay? Hopefully when you, um, when you finish bachillerato, you will go to university. And the last one was learn a foreign language, which is what you are doing right now. Learn a foreign language you are learning english learn a foreign language okay so these are all things uh to do with studying okay and they are collocations so the important thing is to get the correct verb i'll highlight the verbs in red okay to get the correct verb and use it for the correct with the correct activity okay It's very important to, to use the correct verbs in English, okay? Depending on what we're saying. So, okay, so you can copy this in your notebook as well, all right? So just so we have a note of the vocabulary from this class, all right? Without having to look at sort of the exercises. Good. Now what we'll do is um, we shall uh, we'll have a look at this. Oop. We'll have a look at this exercise here. Okay, so that's using these phrases, okay, and putting them into the sentence, okay? So that we can do this all together again. All right, so. All right, so now if you don't remember, okay, so here are the, it shows here sort of the, the, 
the collocations, okay? But you have it in your notebook, all right? So you can just have that. So let's think, which one are we going to write in each sentence? Let's do it. In our art lesson today, we are going to mm of these flowers. Now, if it's an art lesson, we're probably going to draw, right? So we're going to say, draw, actually, like this, draw a picture. So in art lesson, we're going to draw a picture of these flowers. Okay, did you get it correct? Excellent. Number two, Jess is going to live in a different country for the summer so that she can, mm, so if you go to live in a different country for a while, normally the objective is to learn a foreign language, right? You go live in France for, for the summer, you want to learn French, right? Good. Uh, number three, I'm going to mm in photography. What's the answer? I'm going to take a course take a course in something. Like I said, now you are taking a course in English, okay? Take a course in photography. Number four, would you like to mm when you finish school? Okay, so when you finish school, what do you normally, what do, what do people do normally? They go to university. Would you like to go to university when you finish school? I hope so. Number five, the students have to mm every evening okay you all know what you have to do every evening every day do homework you guys have lots of homework number six most students in the uk mm, when they are 18. okay so that's leave school most students in the uk leave school when they are 18. did you get all of them correct very good good job everybody now Try to remember these uh, these phrases, okay? All right, the uh, these expressions here and the vocabulary from school. All right, and what we're going to do now is you're going to practice in the workbook. All right, so go to your workbook, and the page is page fifty four and fifty five. Okay, so we want this uh, unit seven vocabulary, right? Which is this part here. Okay, now. So here you have three exercises. First one is to just put the word to the picture. Okay, it's very easy. Now the second exercise here, right? You have to choose the correct preposition. Okay, so look at the expression. So these are like these ones that we that we had a look at before. Okay, now you can use your notebook to help you, or you can try and do it just by memory. Okay, and then the third one is just matching the sentences. Okay, using collocations. Right, so things like do homework, do their homework, right? So match up the send, look at the collocations, all right? Again, these ones that we've written in the notebook, all right? And match up the sentences using this, all right? So you can pause the video and do all of this on your own, okay? And then when you're finished, uh, we'll correct all together, okay? So exercise one, two, and three, okay? Very good. All finished? All right, let's correct. Let's see what we have. All right, so. Um, matching the words. All right, so let's have a look. This should be pretty easy. Number one is a desk. Okay, it's where you work. Number two is a bookshelf. Three is maths. Four is a dictionary. Five is the subject geography. Six is history. Seven is a board, right? The board that you draw on. And the last one is a uh, is biology. Okay. So, did you get all of them correct? All right. If you've made any mistakes, correct them in your book, please. Fantastic. Very good. All right. Now, now we can correct exercise three. Okay, oh, sorry. Exercise three, okay, so using the expressions with the correct preposition. All right. Hopefully you got all of these correct. All right, so let's have a look. 
The first one, most animals learn almost everything from their parents. Okay. Number two, I arrived at the station. Okay. Number three, can you help me with this question, please? Number four, how many books did you borrow from the library? Number five, there is so much to learn about the 20th century history, 20th century history. And number six, I'm tired. I was at work until 8 p.m. tonight. Okay. Did you get all of them correct? Remember to correct any mistakes. Okay, very good. And let's correct exercise three. Okay, so using the collocations. All right, so the first one, I'm going to leave school at the end of the year, at the end of next year. Next one, Jack learnt Spanish in Chile. Number five, my friends are all going to do their homework this evening. Okay, do your homework. He usually draws pictures of animals and people, draw pictures. Anna's going to take a course in history next term, take a course. And how many students go to university in the city? Go to university, all right? Make sure you have all the correct answers in your book. Okay. Very good, everybody. Okay, so, all right, so you should have, so you should have finished exercise one, two, and three, okay? And then in your pupil's book, you should have all of page 73 finished, okay? And then you should have these notes copied in your notebook, all right? Very good, everybody. Um, so that's it for today. Uh, I look forward to seeing you guys on Wednesday. Um, and yes, that's it. So happy Easter, everybody. Uh, and I'll see you on Wednesday. All right. Bye-bye.